The purpose of the high pressure fuel pump is to supply fuel to the engine at extremely high pressure. These pumps can build up to 2,900 psi depending on the vehicle. They're typically using direct injection systems which usually have two fuel pumps. A low pressure pump in the tank and a high pressure pump mounted on the engine. The location of the high pressure fuel pump is on the camshaft since it's mechanically driven by it. If you can't find it, I'll leave a great repair manual in the description below. Now if the high pressure fuel pump starts to fail, the engine won't get the right amount of fuel, especially under load, and that leads to several noticeable symptoms. The first symptom is long crank times or hard starting. If the pump can't build enough pressure quickly, the engine may crank longer than usual or struggle to start, especially after sitting overnight. The second symptom is poor acceleration or hesitation. When you press the gas, the engine demands more fuel instantly. If the pump can't keep up, you'll feel a sluggish response, hesitation, or jerking, especially during quick acceleration. The third symptom is rough idling or stalling. A weak pump might not be able to maintain steady fuel pressure at idle, which can cause the engine to idle rough, shake, or even stall out. The fourth symptom is the check engine light turning on. Here are some codes that can pop up. You can read these codes with an OBD2 scanner. I'll leave a great low cost one in the description below. The fifth symptom is poor fuel economy. If the ECM is trying to compensate for inconsistent pressure, it might overcompensate with longer injector pulses. This can cause the engine to burn more fuel than it should. The sixth symptom is engine misfires. If a cylinder doesn't get enough fuel, especially under load or at higher RPMs, it can misfire. You might feel surging, jerking, or a flashing check engine light. Now not all symptoms show up right away, but if you're noticing more than one of these, it's a good idea to check fuel pressure and consider the high pressure fuel pump as a possible cause. I appreciate you all for watching this video. If you gained value, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.